What is up people, this is Triple S Storm and um, this video I'm basically going to be talking about some stuff that people found when they actually started data mining in Pokemon Go. They actually found about some Christmas special that will be coming on. Not exactly sure as to how it will go but it might be something that you will collect daily just as how you'd collect your coins if you're in a gym which would actually be pretty cool. Now I wanted to get in the subject of data mining a little bit since most people don't really understand exactly what data mining is or how data mining is done i'm not fully i don't fully understand it but i have a general idea as to how it is done and i'll um i'll kind of let you guys know about that so all right basically with pokemon go pokemon go was created with the unity engine it's one of those great games that was created with the unity engine there are quite a few of them there's um, Pokemon Go, there's Alto's Adventure, there's also The Adventures of Xerix, which is a game that I'm working on. You can check that out, that video was posted earlier, you can actually go check that out and see what it is. Also, there are quite a, there are quite a few, there's, oh, there's Dead Trigger. Dead Trigger is also a really, really amazing game. Um, when Unity updated to, I think, 4.5 they actually redid the game and actually made it look a lot lot better it was it was really great it's a zombie game because zombie first person shooter if you're into zombie first person shooters it's probably one of the one of the the, the best um, first person shooters that i've ever played mobile it's it's pretty good it's it's a it's a really great 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 title anyway um but with um unity engine is it's pretty easy to um to hack well i wouldn't say hack but it's pretty easy to like edit stuff if if you're like a developer using unity engine you can easily go into like source files and change and remove stuff and actually like decrypt stuff if you actually have what is necessary to decrypt them because what the engine does is whenever you finish making a file the engine will actually encrypt it in a way where the engine can read what it is that it encrypt and um you won't really be able to read it most times they actually rename stuff and give them an extension which won't be able to open through your pc or your phone and the engine would actually remove this extension or ignore this extension and just run it as it is that's one thing so what data miners do is they actually figure out how to remove these extensions and find ways to go around these programming and actually figure out exactly what specific files in these folders are or even what the specific folders do and this is exactly how they figure out what is missing and what is actually there that hasn't been displayed yet or is actually hidden in game files and stuff like that so data mine is, is basically just going through folders and contents within a game and actually decrypting them and put them in a format which can be viewable and learning exactly what they are which is what they did to figure out all of the new gen 2 cries also about the baby pokemon the new christmas special and all of that good stuff so you can all definitely look forward to seeing more data mining going on in the future it's not something that they're just they're necessarily gonna stop doing whenever whenever new content is created you will have people who will data mine it because people are always curious about what's going on inside the mechanics and the work so that's gonna happen um so guys that was basically what data mining is at least a short summary i'll probably do some more intense research and do another video about data mining if you guys are actually interested in knowing exactly full details i'll do that aside from that what i might do is i might also do a unity course on how to make a game like pokemon go and i'll put that up so you guys can actually see 
but that is i was planning on doing some unity course videos but i didn't really get much requests i got about five requests from five friends so i'm definitely gonna do a video on a few little things i'm definitely gonna do a video on a few little things so if you guys are interested and when they do go up you guys want me to put up more just please hit the like button and let me know in the comments what else you would want me to do i'll probably do mostly scripting since scriptings are probably the hardest part of video game making to actually get around because there aren't much script out there so you don't really know how to do much stuff so guys this is triple star i'm telling you guys please like share and subscribe thank you to all my subscribers to all my viewers to all the people who have watched my videos and all these different countries all over the globe it means a lot to me seeing how far my content is actually reaching and i'll see you guys in another video